Hey, it's Don the Osh Professor here. We've got another Bolo video here. We're going to talk about a whole area that has pretty much just started on eBay. Uh, it's actually gotten quite big. It's ACEO uh, cards. We're going to hop to the screen now and we're going to tell you what those are, how they sprouted, and show you some values on these crazy items. Okay, so ACEO cards started from actual trade cards for the most part. Um, an artist, I believe he was Swiss, actually created some small cards and wanted to do a project where other people would supply cards and you could swap them around. And from there, that was the creation of ATC, which are artist trade cards. They'd be an original piece actually painted on a two and a half by three and a half card, which is the exact size of a modern day baseball or football card. You can see one here in this, this person's hand. And the ACEO card is an artist card, editions, and then originals. So basically, these will be original cards that actually were done on the actual card itself. Now, you'll find limited edition ones. You'll find many examples where someone was painted their design and then had it printed 25 or 50 or 100 examples of it. And then he'll do them as a limited or she will do them as a limited edition collectible card. Now, I've done that in the past as well. Plus, I've done originals. This is actually where we started with the postcard, our progress in the postcards. We did these first, then I moved up to postcards. I like the aspect of being able to have twice as much space. So I still like these. I still occasionally pick up some or create my own. Very rare occasions, but I do do that as well, too. So it's just a baseball card. I may um, have some for, you know, maybe Halloween or something to give out to some subscribers or something like that. But this is just a perfect example. This one here went for $202. And the key thing here is that this image was actually painted on this card, just like this. This is an original oil painting or watercolor. Whatever the medium that they used is, this is an original of it. So that's the key here. Next one here, cats. Cats are very popular. You'll see these types of cards, known artists. Now, some of these artists who do these actually print and have prints made of theirs and sell throughout markets across the country and are actually known and listed artists. So sometimes you'll find some like this, which is worth a ton of money. This one's over $1,000 cute interesting topic anthropomorphic uh mice i guess you could say as well too cats seem to be a dominating factor in a lot of these here's just another example i believe this one went for around two or three thousand dollars we're just showing you examples here so you can kind of get the gist of this if you're interested in knowing look up aceo cards and you will see them on ebay this is pretty much an exclusive ebay thing this started to be a big thing when somebody had them started up on eBay. That's literally the dawn of where these went from an artist in Switzerland to actually eBay uh, people putting them up and doing the same thing. So anyway, this is a rather cute one. Well rendered considering, again, these are small original pieces of art. Just another example, 610. Another one, bears, animals. It's a rather nice image, in all honesty. It's hard to believe in some aspects that it's actually done this small. Being someone who does create artwork, the small aspect of it isn't always that easy because the paint gets muddled together and it's hard to distinguish sometimes if you're not uh, adept at doing the small, intricate details. 465 for this one. It has 23 bids, mind you, as well. The artist's name on any of these that I've shown you isn't listed, actually, in the title. So, you know, they're not banking on that. It's just the actual item itself that's worth something, too. The artist obviously adds to the value, of course, but people like these small, original pieces of artwork. Another cat. Again, these could be different artists. They could be the same. I'm not judging that aspect of it. I just want you to look at what they are. Rather cute. Again, these are actual paintings painted on a tiny piece of paper. Now, you can buy pre-made cards that you can just fill in the paint, just like uh, postcards you can do as well, too. Or you could paint a design on a larger scale and then have it shrunk down to a scaled version that ends up being two and a half by three and a half baseball card size. And you can have these printed. Again, we print stuff all the time. There's nothing wrong with having your artwork printed and mass producing it to a certain extent. You don't have to be the one to create every one. All you have to do is create one original, and then from there you can go. Now, of course, the limited editions don't sell anywhere near what these sell for, unless you do something special like draw on the back or uh, put a signature or specialty or limited edition or something along that line. They still are not going to be anywhere near 
uh, one of these prices, $408 for this one. So if this was a limited edition, numbered edition, he might get 20 bucks, 30 bucks. It's hard pressed to say. It just depends on the artists. Now, Game of Thrones is big. This is just an example. Again, these are small, tiny little cards. These are works of art, as far as I'm concerned. Now, it says it comes with a certificate of authenticity. I can create a certificate of authenticity for anything. It doesn't mean anything. But this is just from the artist himself. So, you know, nothing wrong with doing that. People feel more comfortable with it in some aspects of it. It helps prove the provenance of a piece in my book. Again, a lot of these are from foreign uh, sources. I, it doesn't matter where they come from. It's the artwork itself. Here's an Alice in Wonderland. Um, it's a little out of an angle, but again, it's hard to do these sizes. So more power to anybody that's able to pull these off. $342. Again, I've done some this small, so I really know how hard and complicated some can be. Some people have the knack and they can just do them over and over again in a real quick, short amount of time. Here's another good one here. $299. Game of Thrones, of course. Cute mouse with the ladybug, $293. Anthropomorphic cat as a jester, $293. Eight bids. Again, these aren't just some random items. Sometimes the name will push it. Sometimes it won't. It just depends. Some people market it one way. Some people market it another way. Sometimes everybody will know the artist's style, so they'll automatically know it's that artist. It's just hard to say. $191 on this one. Stargate SG-1 is another popular one. Uh, Harry Potter is very popular. Um, it just depends uh, on the actual topic, how well they're done, the, the stylization of them as well, too. This one's got a nice play with some reflective lighting off the hair with the blue tints and such forth. Rather interesting, $206. Again, I'm going to remind you, these are small. These are all original pieces of work this big. So again, keep that in mind when you're looking at these. Now, this person came up with a similar styled background. Um, it looks like they probably took a lid to get those circles up there in gold. Rather interesting. Um, it's a painterly uh, impression of it. Nice signature style. The clef for the G and the H for the person's name. This is a nice example. $177. Santa Claus. Now, Santa Claus doesn't go very well in these Somebody might say 169 is a pretty good price. It's probably the high end for Santa Claus's here. Some of the other characters can go for four or five hundred dollars every day of the week. Santa Claus pushes it at 170 in season, and they might go for a little more. But this is just a good example. Five bids, 170 basically. And the last one, another Game of Thrones. Now this one I really like. I love the play again, the purples, the blue tints to it. This one plays very well. This person probably took a real picture and just painted his own version of it. Nothing wrong with that. I do that as well too. So rather interesting, nice example of this piece. So that is ACEO cards. Not a lot to them, but there's tens of thousands of them that go up on eBay all the time. They sell like mad. There's tons of them available. You can do limited edition. You can print your own. Some people do actual um, like pieces that they cut out of things. They'll do ACEO of like um, pieces from old books and stuff. They'll do wallpaper and then just paint a little design in the front. There's all different types of ACO cards. You don't have to be able to paint like this to do an ACO card. You can find them at places, as I said. So if you're already going to places to get baseball cards or non-sports cards or whatever, you're probably going to run into some of these. You find the right ones, they're worth some money. So anyway, that's what I have for you today. Well, there you go. There's another item that you can sell, something you can create. You can actually buy them. You can swap them. You can find them at trade card shows as well, too. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.